All right, real quick tutorial here. Um, somebody asked in the comments how to do this, and I believe this this is the answer they are looking for. So I just want to throw this together real quick. Uh, if you're working with a drop down, whether you're generating the contents of that drop down dynamically or you're entering them uh, statically uh, inside the editor, uh, is irrelevant to this tutorial. Uh, what I want to show here is how do you take what's in the drop down and put it into a collection through an update. Uh, so let's assume that the authenticated user is going to select something from the drop down. We want it to update to the authenticated user's user account. Um, so I'm going to use the user's collection and I'm just going to title this drop down uh, selection for reference. And I'm going to make that field a string. And then we're going to jump back over here. I've got a test page set up. And I'm going to just put a couple of fields. I'm going to put a drop down. Um, and I'll put a button to complete the action on that drop down. So again, you could do your fields dynamically from a variable or you can add them in manually. So Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so I've got three, three drop-down um, options to select from, and so how do I how do I update that selection to the user's um, collection? I would use my button here. I would go to add an action, I'd update, update document, update authenticated user document, user reference, set a field, and I would select the drop-down selection field that I just created from a variable and then that variable would be widget state and I'd select my drop down. And so whatever option they select from that drop down will update the user collection and fill that uh, that data field that I just set. Um, so it may I think this for for new folks is confusing as to how they set a, a field inside their collection for a drop down because there's not a drop down option, which that's not exactly what you need anyway. You, know, you don't you don't need a drop down option in your collection. You just need a string field to fill that field with whatever they selected from the drop down. So hopefully that helps if anybody was looking for an answer for that.